My name is Lauren Hopkins. I'm a paramedic with Washington County Division of Emergency Services. And what we're going to demonstrate today is um, placing the patient on a 12 lead EKG and transmitting that EKG to the hospital for review by a cardiologist. This is Jeffrey and Josh. They're going to go ahead and get you hooked up to the monitor. And what we have here is a, a chest pain patient, suspected um, cardiac patient. So we're going to go ahead and you can see the patient's been patient placed on oxygen. We're going to go ahead and put them on the heart monitor, uh, do a 12 lead and transmit that to the hospital so we can get a better picture and a better view of what's going on as far as his heart is concerned. Uh, Josh is placing the limb leads right now um, up on the shoulders, down on the legs. Then he'll place the precordial leads on the patient's chest. Josh will make sure that we have a good skin to lead placement so we have good transmission we don't uh, pick up any artifact that way prior to placing the leads Josh would have made sure that the skin is clean there's no hair if need be we, uh, we, we can shave the patient Josh will connect the 12 lead electrodes and then we're gonna go ahead and shoot the 12 lead we're gonna ask the patient to his age and then we'll ask him to sit still and be quiet no talking no speaking try to breathe normally the next 30 seconds. Once the 12 lead's been acquired, we can hit the transmit button and transmit via LifeNet to Meredith Medical Center. They can go ahead, um, start gathering up resources. If they see something, um, if they see uh, indications for a heart attack, we can go ahead and start calling the cath lab, calling the interventionalist, and go ahead and start that process in motion. They're getting everything together as we're transporting the patient so it's ready upon the patient's arrival. Um, companies in Washington County have been using this technology for approximately uh, one to two years. Meredith Medical Center was nice enough to go ahead and purchase the LifeNet for us, so we had that capability. I think it's a wonderful resource to be able to have this, this technology available to us. It gives us another set of eyes. Um, the phrase, two hands are better than one, definitely applies here. Two eyes are better than one. There's um, several different caveats, several different um, interpretations that can be made and there's there's a lot that goes along with the 12 leads never just basic uh, we can they can go ahead and compare at the hospital to the patient's previous 12 lead they can see the whole bigger picture better than we can uh, we can see changes but that might be changes that the patients already had so they're already forming a, a much bigger picture as we're already in route and time is tissue time is muscle and the heart is a muscle so the faster we can get treatment the faster we can we can start the treatment in the field the faster they know it's coming in the hospital they can get everything together by the time we get there, the patient goes straight to the cath lab, and we've had that happen several times. We save more, more heart tissue that way. People's recovery, 10 times better. My name is Brett Kane, the Administrative Director of Cardiovascular Services here at Meritus Medical Center. And currently we're in our outpatient recovery area where we end up taking uh, a lot of our cath lab patients for recovery. Um, and as you've known and heard that always time is muscle as we refer to in the healthcare field, every minute counts. So the sooner that we can get the transmission, the sooner that we can know that a patient is indeed having this type of heart attack, the sooner we can get them into the cath lab and get their artery opened up again and um, literally save their lives. Uh, up until the last couple years, most of the EMS crews have had the ability to transmit these EKGs and it wasn't recently until the last couple months that we've been able to have every ambulance crew in Washington County uh, with this capability. And what this enables us to do, especially during the daytime hours in the cath lab, is to have an interventionalist right there who can read and interpret, interpret the EKG to say, yes, this person's having a special kind of MI which requires immediate intervention with stenting. A stent is, and I have a three-dimensional view, it's a wire mesh. This is much larger in size, but this is actually what we use to teach um, patients uh, about cardiac stents. And what it does is basically it goes inside the vessel where your blockage is and really it's much more compressed than on the end of a balloon. And then we launch it, literally launch it, and it expands. And what it does is expands inside the artery, uh, the coronary vessel that has the disease or the, the occlusion, and it opens it up and maintains 
the structure of the vessel. So just like a chain link fence or a support structure when you're building a house, uh, doing all the framing part, this is actually like a, a miniature frame for your uh, coronary artery vessels. So now we have the ability with these field transmission EKGs, uh, we've had door to balloon times as low as 20 minutes. So from the time EMS arrives at the scene, hooks the patient up to a monitor, they're brought to the cath lab, and we have already put the stent in and reperfused them within 20 minutes. And that is an amazing feat. You're watching Your Health Matters, brought to you by Emeritus Health. We'll be right back.